I have some bad news. It is currently December, it's slightly below freezing, and it's raining. And that means the power is out. Now this would normally leave us completely without any heat in our home. And in the winter, you know that can be deadly. And in an ice storm like this, I mean, check out these trees. It's gonna be a while before the guys get out and repair it, because they gotta stay safe too. We don't want them risking themselves uh, to put our power back on. But thanks to the Anchor Solix E10, my heat is completely powered because of these batteries right here. And there's no solar. Of course, it's storming. The clouds are out. I'm getting no solar right now, but it's okay because there is a built-in gas generator or propane or natural gas that we can use, oh, it's cold out here, to power up the system if it, I'm slipping down the hill, <laughs> to, to power up the system if it runs out. I'm gonna go inside, but let's check out this beast of a system. All right, so I'm hiding in the garage from the ice. It is really nasty and cold out there, but one of the coolest parts of the system, as you can see on my screen right now, is that the heat is running and it never turned off. When the power went out, it automatically switched over from the grid to the battery instantaneously. So the heat never flinched, the heat never turned off. And for my geothermal system, that is incredibly impressive. This thing is so picky with how it gets its power, how clean the power is. And in the power outages we had in the past before we had the Anchor Solix E10 installed, once the power did come back on, it would take anywhere from five to 15 minutes for my system to even power back on. So having it be able to seamlessly and smoothly transition over to the battery without shutting off and needing that big long reboot time is huge. That's sounding really nasty. I ran inside, I turned the heat down just to conserve a little bit of energy. I wanted to show you though that the system was running with the recording uh, that you're looking at right now. We don't need the house quite as warm. Uh, we can conserve extra when the grid is down and make that battery last as long as possible. But before we get more into it, let's go back in time. Let me show you the install because I was pretty impressed with how simple the setup for this system really is. All right, guy who's actually working, I'm yeah. gonna ask you, what do you think? I'm gonna hand you this. How many hours do you think we're gonna be working on this? You're gonna be working on this. <laughs> I don't wanna take any credit. And do you think it's gonna be like pretty straightforward install? Do you think Anchor is gonna optimize all of this? It should be pretty straightforward. I think it'll take me about eight to 10 hours. All right, so getting everything unboxed here. You can see two batteries here. We have the, what is this? The power module is there. And we have our generator down there in case I ever lose power for a long time. I can just put some gas in it and have heating and cooling. And then down here is our pad that we got prepared. And then we're starting with this really cool metal pad here that the batteries rest on. So it's already perfectly level because uh, we did such a great job here. But there are feet down there, so if you need to level it, very easy to level with just this metal pad. You don't need any extra work uh, if you're using that. So here are the batteries. We opened up the box. We have two batteries and a really cool design here. If you look right here, you just set the batteries on top of each other and boom, they instantly connect just like that. So adding multiple batteries, they just stack up. Very easy to do. I'll go over. Yep. Nice and gently now. Yep. Okay, so I'll go first this way. Uh, mm -hmm. Just hold it so it doesn't yep. fall. Yep, I got it. Okay. <laughs> well, did you almost let it go? No. Wow, that looks good. Oh, this one's nice and light. Bro, this thing looks amazing. Doesn't look at that. Look cool. at that. That looks so good. That looks cool. It does. All right, so here's our bracket. This is how you attach it to the wall to make sure everything stays sturdy and safe, can't fall over, although it's already really sturdy. And I love the design here, how this is comes out from the wall. So you don't have to be up touching against the wall. You just have to be somewhere near the wall. And then you can uh, attach anywhere along this to keep everything safely attached to the structure of your home. And that way the batteries can't tip over. <laughs> you got it? Yeah. Okay. I love me just talking and you're like lifting a thousand pounds over here. If you put the anchor here, which this is a good spot, but I wonder if you could, you should be able to put another battery on top of it. So you don't even have to anchor at the top. You could anchor at any point that you want. So if you wanted to anchor down there, you could. Oh, right. It's probably better higher up, but right, you know what right. I'm saying? Like if yeah. I added another battery, I don't have to take the anchor off, move it. Right, right. You just add another battery. Yeah, and, then and throw it's, the thing it's already top. anchored. Yeah. yeah, cool. You're right, you're right. It's a good, I mean, it's just smart it's way they design, yeah. yeah set it up. Well, the birds are not too scared of us. It's perfect. The battery, don't show them the generator, but the, you know, the nice eco-friendly battery. <laughs> you just got birds flying all over the place. <laughs> nice. Right, yeah. Not going anywhere. <sighs> oh, 
Oh yeah. Here we have the Anchor Solix Power Dock. What's great is the upper and lower pieces come together and are totally outdoor rated, but can be separated if needed. And that's what we're doing here. So right now Nathan is taking these apart so that we can modularly put them exactly where we need them to make the system work. So coming along really well, we have the generator here ready to go. And then we have our two batteries um, and everything is set up back there. It looks so nice. I love the aesthetic. And what's cool is right now we have two batteries, but you can stack up to five on this one unit. And if that's not enough, which that's a lot of power, you can actually have three of these stacks next to each other. And if each stack has five batteries, that's 30 kilowatt hours for a total of 90 kilowatt hours of energy. That all integrates seamlessly with this system. And even though I only have two right now, let's say later I decide this isn't enough, I could just get one more, two more, three more batteries, pull off this top part, stick the batteries on and put the top back on. It would be that simple to expand my system. All right, so opening up this panel, I'm bugging you while you're doing all this work. What do you think just from what you see so far? I think that it is a lot of different options on here. So you can include different things like your solar and your, your generator. You can have their, their solar, and their generator or you can have your own generator and your own solar and then you can have loads in here for if you draw too many amps too much power then it will automatically shut off certain loads in your house so there's a lot of different controls in here which is nice we all know batteries can run a fridge but the anchor solix e10 backup system actually handles every home appliance including the massive startup surge of a geothermal heating system one massive difference here is speed. Traditional home storage systems can take months to schedule and install. But because of this modular design, the Anchor Solix E10 can be installed in about a week after ordering. Nathan and I did this entire install in one day and he has never installed one of these systems before. The reason my geothermal system didn't even flicker is turbo mode. The Anchor Solix E10 instantly boosts output to 10 kilowatts and can handle a surge of up to 155 amps with one power module and at least two batteries or up to 275 amps with two power modules that have at least two battery modules each. The custom cables for the Anchor products are really nice. They clip in uh, safely, they lock on, which is really good. This one is for the generator, uh, but there's different cables for different parts of the system. And uh, you can, as I talked about in another part of the video, use your own equipment as well. So if you have your own generator already, you can just use a generic uh, generator cable and connect that to your batteries to charge them up if you need uh, power from gasoline, propane, or natural gas. This isn't just a generator plugged into a battery. The Anchor Solix E10's DC charging avoids conversion loss. This makes the entire system more efficient. By contrast, AC generators power the house directly and must constantly adjust with demand. This ends up reducing overall efficiency and because of this, the Anchor Solix E10 delivers up to five times the backup time with a similar amount of fuel. Since we knew this ice storm was coming and storm guard was enabled in the app, the Anchor Solix E10 automatically topped the batteries up to 100% before the grid went down. And for peace of mind while we sleep, the whole system is UL9540 and UL9540A certified, which is the gold standard for fire safety. Can I just say that I love that it's a smart panel so that you can control every circuit in the panel and I just feel like that's the way the future is. The Anchor Solix power dock connects to my 200 amp main circuit, allowing the entire main panel to be backed up. This enables true whole home backup. Competing smart home panels can only support up to 12 selected circuits, leaving the rest of the circuits unpowered in an outage. Copper incoming! Wow, looking fancy. Nice. That's still running. Yep. Yeah. That was fast. Yep. Yeah. So we have the rare sunny day here out in Michigan and I've set up my temporary panels. Now I know my setup currently is not the best uh, for solar. I have a lot of trees and this is not kind of the optimal position, but I just wanted to show that you can connect 
portable solar panels, another company's solar panels, anchor solar panels, whatever you want, and you can generate that free energy from the sun, which can increase your cost savings over time. Because right now, as you're looking at my system, you can see I'm pulling nothing. And you're like, what is going on? Well, when it's sunny, my geothermal actually doesn't run that much because the sun is so low in the sky, it comes into our windows and it warms our house naturally. So the geothermal doesn't even have to run on sunny days, which of course in the winter is rare, but on those days, there is a lot of savings to be had. But you can imagine how this would look if you had a fully flush system, you had solar panels in a more optimum position, either up on the roof or even ground mounted in a better location than I have here. It is such a cool setup. And if it's not a sunny day or it's not a sunny week, the power has been out for a while, we of course have the generator up here which can generate power either from gasoline or propane or natural gas, whatever you want, which for me is a big deal because we actually don't have natural gas here. Of course I could buy propane, but we don't have a propane tank. We don't use propane to heat our home. We use only electricity. So I can just run to the gas station, get some rec fuel, fill this up and pretty much have unlimited unless it's like that time the area was without power for multiple days and the gas station started running out of gas and our solar panels were keeping us running during that time. So you can slide to start in the app, which is just too cool. You can hear it ramping up. Never, never has a better, <laughs> come on cameraman, never has a generator been that easy. That's pretty crazy. So we're back here with the ice storm and you can see now nothing is running on this system. So I have a pretty unique setup. I have two panels in my basement. One is just my geothermal, which has my heating and cooling, uh, my water heating, and some vents that are in the house to move air around. And then my other panel is the rest of my home. And so what is really nice about this system is I have full control over my heating and cooling. It will fully power that, not be drained by anything else. But on top of that, I have modular control within the app. Let me show you this. So diving into my settings, Oh, I hear someone's generator kicking on mine, not quite yet. So diving into the settings, you can see my backup strategy here. And first of all, we have mandatory circuits. So this means when the grid goes down, no matter what happens, these things are going to be powered by the battery all the way down to zero. Of course, my geothermal, I want my heating or cooling. That is kind of the most important thing that's connected. So if I need to run my battery to zero to get as much time out of that as possible, I will. Now the generator will kick on before we get to zero, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. All right, I had to find somewhere to set my camera. My arm was getting tired, I hope that's okay. So mandatory circuits are my geothermal, the fans, uh, and of course the solar is gonna just collect energy. It's not gonna use energy. And though that will remain on all the time. So if there is sun, the solar panels can pump more energy for free into that battery. And then I have another circuit that nothing is connected to. Doesn't really matter where that goes. Then we go to conditional. So for right now, I've taken everything out of here just because this storm is so severe and I don't know when the power is gonna come back on. It could easily be days like this because it's a huge ice storm and you can't drive on the roads and these line workers are gonna have a lot of work to do. I'm sure power is out in a lot of Michigan right now. But the point of this is that you can have things that if your battery's really full or half full or whatever you wanna set, the battery will power those until you get below whatever percentage you set. And so normally I have my hot water heater in here. I love having hot water, obviously, but it's not a necessity most of the time. So I had this set up. So if we had enough energy, the water would be heated. But as soon as we got below a certain level, hot water heater, you're out of here. We need to conserve that energy for our heating and cooling system and not use it on the hot water. And then below that, we have no supply when the power is out. And the main thing I have here is the auxiliary heat. If it gets cold enough, the geothermal system itself cannot keep up with the heating that you're doing. It's got about a 60 degree differential or so. The auxiliary heat just simply pulls too much power for my current setup to power. Now, if I wanted to expand the system and make it bigger, I actually could get enough equipment from Anchor for the Anchor Solix E10 to power the auxiliary heat completely, but I don't have that in my setup right now. So when the power is out, no auxiliary heat is coming. And this is an emergency backup, unless you're like below 10 degrees Fahrenheit or so for a really extended period of time, you're not gonna need this. For me, that usually runs only once or twice a year. And even then it makes the house too hot and it's annoying. So I usually turn it off. But this way I'm not gonna trip the battery by trying to pull too much power. But on top of that, we actually did test this in a fake power outage scenario and it was unbelievable. So my system right now can power seven kilowatts. It can do that all day long, no problem, but it has a peak of up to 10 kilowatts. And so I tested this, I powered the auxiliary heat and it actually did power it. But what is even more impressive is the battery did not completely fail because I was pulling too much power. All it did was turn off this auxiliary heat circuit. 
Everything else kept running, no issues at all. It was like just that circuit tripped like it would in any normal breaker box. And everything was able to keep running, but the auxiliary heat was cut off because that item itself was pulling too much power. Insanely impressive. The latest Anchor Solix lab test results show that the E10 delivers 10 kilowatts of instantaneous output for up to 90 minutes. The real world benefits of this are huge. Large spikes like this usually last far less than an hour, like running an electric stove, dryer, or water heater. For me, my geothermal system actually could run the auxiliary heat to keep us warm in extreme cold and that backup heat for us usually only runs in 15 to 20 minute bursts anyway. Now extended power outages normally happen during storms like you're seeing here and during storms there's usually not much sun and so while you can have solar panels attached to the system you can have enough to power yourself indefinitely the times when you really need these backup systems, solar isn't always giving you enough energy, especially for something like this, my geothermal system, that really does pull a lot of power over an extended period of time. And that is where the last piece of this really cool puzzle comes in, and that is the gas generator. Now, I can't believe I'm showing you guys a gas product on this channel, I never thought it would happen, but I am actually very thankful to have it. And what is cool is it's a smart gas generator, okay? So maybe, let's move over here, look at all that ice, that's crazy. So maybe the smarts make up for the fact that it's gas, but either way, I am very happy to have it at this moment. So let's hop into it in the app. You can see it here on the left, zero watts right now, it's not needed. We'll click it and we can click smart generator and it does have an update, but I'm gonna skip that for now. And what is so cool, you can see on the left there, 88%, that's how much gas I have in it. So I could actually put more gas, I hope I have some in the shed, <laughs> but this will last me a long time either way. Uh, Cause I don't wanna go out to the gas station either, even if I did have a generator and I needed gas, uh, but this is all ready to go. And what is so cool about this generator is not only can it provide enough power for us to power our heating as long as we need it, as long as we have gas, it is automatic. So once the battery reaches a certain low percentage, this generator will kick on and it will charge the battery. That's it. As soon as the battery has enough power, it'll just turn back off and it will do that as much as it needs to, to keep the power on. On top of that, if I don't want to wait, I can just slide to start. I don't have to go outside. I don't have to pull anything. Most generators have a push start now, but still, I don't have to go outside and push start it. I don't have to connect any wires or move it around. It's just ready to go. It's set up. Anytime I need it, it will just turn on charge my batteries as much as needed, and turn off. And on top of that, I know, you're saying, whoa, 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 you're charging batteries with gas, that's insane. But because you're going DC to DC, the efficiency is really good. Now, it's gasoline, so efficiency isn't as good as electricity or solar, of course, that wouldn't even come close. But you have a lot of power in a short amount of time, and the efficiency is just about as good as you can get. What a cool system, what a cool setup for emergency situations like the one we're in right now. So the heat is on and we are completely comfortable despite the ice storm. The Anchor Solix E10 uses the smart generator to keep your home running even if there is no solar power available. It is a smart hybrid system for your house. While a standard solar only setup would be dead in the water during a cloudy winter storm like this, the hybrid approach gives that infinite power loop. As long as you have gasoline, you have heat. But even if you don't have gasoline, you do have the solar panels, so you have multiple ways to recharge your batteries in these emergency situations. I always say you want a backup for your backup. If you want to secure your home this winter, check the link in the description for the Anchor Solix E10. Stay warm and you'll see me in the next video.